A couple years ago, I put up a video about testing candle heaters. And after I shared it a couple of times, I started to get a lot of hits. And I've recently been getting over 20 hits an hour, which is really cool. I'm happy. But I've also had some comments. A lot of people have been asking me, did you think about this? Did you try that? And so forth. So I'm going to do that. I need to build something to do that. But I'm going to take a lot of my thermometers. I believe I have at least six. And I'm going to put them all in an array to have the temperatures from the candle heater show up. But there's something special about these, and I did not plan this, so I did not do it right. But they have the ability to extend, and it's got a sticker on the back, so I'm having a hard time pulling it out. The cable off to the side. So I think I can get about, there we go, eh. foot and a half, two feet away. So I'm going to set these up on a mount and put the sensor, because this is the actual sensor, near the pot and see if I can get some consistent readings that will tell me what changes happen as I run some candles. I hope to get some real data and actually find out what makes a difference with how much heat, if any, changes and outputs and so forth. So. Another question that was put up was, does it make a difference if a candle is room temperature or frozen? The process of going from a liquid to a solid is known of as freezing. So, steel, iron, freezes somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Wax freezes somewhere between 100 and 150 degrees Fahrenheit. As the candle burns, it melts. So I have a candle in my chest freezer. I'm going to take that out in a little while and I will put this room temperature candle on one plate and the frozen one on another plate And I'll just run a time lapse of them burning down with a clock. So we can have proven once and for all if it makes a difference to have a below freezing piece of paraffin versus the, the below, below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius bit of paraffin or a room temperature piece of paraffin. The only thing that I can think of that will make a difference on this is if it is harder to light the colder one. That's why I'm testing. Because I want to know. I want real data. I want real answers. And I hope to find out. Keep watching. 
Got to find all my candles because I'm not sure where they are. I'll buy, buy some. You know, they're cheap. And I've still got uh, my setup. So, I also had a couple people ask about this. Was this really blocking the heat coming out? It's got a little loop there to hold it with. And if you look, it's got a great big hole there. So, it wasn't blocking much, if anything, when I had it on top of the, the pot. So, there was plenty of airflow. Some people say I didn't need the airflow. I'm going to gather all the questions and comments and ideas. I'm going to try them out. So, till next time, I got some work to do.